Can't believe I didn't catch that. I can't believe you guys didn't catch that. You're supposed to tell me when I'm about to do something stupid. I've got a Brew Express coffee maker, which I love. I got it specifically because you can run a hard water line to it and you don't have to fill up a reservoir every time you're going to make coffee. I run up against that today to where what it'll do is it'll brew for just a few seconds and then it'll flash E, 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 E across the screen. That tells you there's a supply uh, issue with the water. You know, the filter's bad. I've replaced the, the inline filter. It's new. Water lines are good. Got good water pressure. Um, so I know that it has to do with the, uh, the line buildup inside the machine itself. What I'm going to do today is install some kind of an inline system that allows me to get cleaner inside the machine. We'll see. All right, so underneath the sink, I've got this, um, this inline filter with my water line coming through. So this is a water supply line there. Come and splits off going to the fridge, and then this one comes up to this filter, and then comes out the other side and runs up to the, where the coffee maker is. What I think I'm going to do anyway is put something in line here that allows me to hook a canister to this line, put it in line, and then put some kind of cleaner in the canister, and then pressurize the canister, and then I can force that through to the coffee maker instead of using the, the water source. So we'll see if that works. I've got to see what I got. I decided to go with this guy is going to be my, this is going to be my canister that I'm going to put the cleaner in. So this is actually a uh, Mighty Vac pressurized system um, where I can I can pressurize this canister and then use that as my water source. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I can put this guy in line, tighten him up. Like oh, so this guy needs to need to go to. So if I pretend that this is my existing water line, if I T into that guy like that, oh, I need, to, I need a shut off. So I need to install this guy as a shut off in line. This will adapt to this line here, this 3 8 So that's quarter, 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 3 8 and then this will go this guy here. That'll hold on. I wonder if I'm gonna need a hose clamp that. So this will go on here. I think that'll go on there. It's on there now. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll work. I'll cut off a little piece of this. Up to this guy. Another section up to this to T into the line. I need another in line up here. That's what I need. So this guy's gonna have to go here and there so that I can shut that water off. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have my pump down here with my cleaner. This guy's going to go in line up to the water line. So from there, I need a T above that here, just like that. I'm going to need a small section here.
So I'll take this guy and put this whole system in line. So I'm gonna cut my existing water line and tap it into both sides here. And then I can leave this one off and turn that one on and run water from my water line. Or I can turn this one off and turn this one on and pressurize this can canister with my Mighty Vac and get cleaner into the system. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now it's time to shut the water off. All right, I've got the water shut off, but as I expect, there's probably gonna be some residual water in that line. So when I cut it, water is gonna go everywhere. So I've got a little bowl to catch that water. I'm gonna cut this and hope we don't get water everywhere. Bowl didn't help much. <laughs> That's all right. These are press fit, which are really pretty cool. Press that together. This canister should be able to just sit right there. All right, let's go turn the water on and see what we get. All right, so far so good. Um, no leaks in the water line, at least not the top part. So we're gonna shut off the water from the from coming from the filter and turn on the valve going to, oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, I put the T on the wrong side of the line. Holy cow. Can't believe I didn't catch that. I can't believe you guys didn't catch that. You're all supposed to tell me when I'm about to do something stupid. I said I put the T on the wrong side of the valve. What I meant was I put the shut off on the wrong side of the T. Put it on the downstream side instead of the upstream side. So when I turned on the water, it just backflowed into my pressurized system. Yeah. Oh no, don't do that. See how big of a mess this makes. Maybe not. They make a little tool for disconnecting these and I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to improvise. There we go. So that worked. These little connectors, these push fits. There's a tool that you can use to disconnect them, but that little collar, if you slide that in, then you can pull the you can pull the line back out. So I used a what is this a quarter inch wrench? <laughs> I don't have the special tool. Okay. Why don't this one come out? Oh, I see what's going on. There we go. So now I've got my shutoff valve correctly positioned on the upstream side of the T and then another shutoff valve down from the T which will go which will connect to my canister so I'm gonna leave this shut off leave that shut off I'm gonna go turn the water back on and see if we have any leaks we should not now the moment of truth to see if I did it right the second time and so I'm gonna turn this water line on which should feed water from the filter up to the coffee maker. No leaks there. I'm gonna turn this guy off and this one on. So no leaks and everything should work. So in theory, I've got them both off now. In theory, what I can do is I can put some water in this canister pressurize that and then feed water to the coffee maker from there. I've got water in this little this little guy, right? Just plain water. And what I can do, I can turn this supply line on, pressurize that. I 
I'm leaking water out of that guy. Where am I leaking water from? Oh, out of the gun itself. So I'm going to keep this up to 10 PSI while the coffee maker is running. Ooh. Oh. Oh. My system has failed. That's not working. In my rush earlier to get this done, to get my coffee maker working again, I did not pay attention that this, this particular Mighty Vac that I got um, is vacuum only. I need one that does pressure. So this is a few days later and I have sourced the Mighty Vac that's selectable. I can either select vacuum or I can select pressure, which is exactly what I need. And I also got a larger pressure vessel. Um, so I've got this all rigged up now. So what I can do is I can create pressure with this guy, put my solution in this container, hook it up, and then run pressure through and hopefully get cleaner through the, the Brew Express. That's really the, the ultimate that's really the ultimate goal. So I'm gonna mix up the solution real quick and then we'll get this hooked up and and see if it see if it works or see if it squirts water all over me again. I don't know. <laughs> so. How much am I supposed to use? Oh, no, 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 no. One tablespoon for four cups. I got two cups of water. Can I get all two cups in here? What do you think? Yep. All right. Cool. One tablespoon for four cups. I need a half a tablespoon for two cups. There. There's half a tablespoon. Right there. Now we'll move back down and get this all hooked up and see if we can actually pressurize it. I'm going to shut off my main water supply here. This is a lot to do to clean out a coffee maker, isn't it? I love having a coffee maker with a built-in water line, but they don't really offer any way that I know of to clean it. I believe my genius engineering doesn't want to work. So now, now when I turn on the coffee maker, that should draw water from this bottle through this line, hit this T, that's shut off, so then it'll follow that way and it'll go up to the coffee maker. We'll see first of all if I can build up a little pressure. See if it'll hold pressure without squirting water everywhere. I think I've got enough line that I can stand up and do this. So let's see if I can. All right, so we're still holding 10 pounds of pressure. That's good. I believe I've got everything going so I can hit and set this to one cup and start it see if I can keep up with the pressure. Okay, that used, a, looks like, looks like it used about a cup and a half of water. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, cleaned a lot of stuff out, so that's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Good thing there, we caught some, some lime scale. So, oh, it's hot, hot, out. Of course it's hot, dummy. So the Brew Express coffee maker, when, when it can't get enough water for whatever reason, it will throw this 4E code. Um, and the only way to get that dealt with is either, either find where the water pressure is a problem, you get a kink line or a leak or something like that, which I don't have, or you have to, uh, it, the, I'm assuming that if I've, I know I've got enough water pressure, because this has been running for about a year, um, then the only other thing is that the inside of the machine has to be cleaned, which is exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. So this time it threw the error code because my water bottle with cleaning solution in it ran 
too low. So there was not enough water. So it threw the code. That's, that's fine. That's what I expected it to do. So now we're going to run, we're going to change our water line back over and run a, a bit of fresh water or filtered water through this from the water source and see what else we get cleaning out of the system. Let's run it and see what we get. All right, done. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more out of there. Still a little dirty, but, oh, look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, there we go. Look at all of that goo that came out of there, all that lime scale. Yeah, there we go. Wow. So that, there was a lot in there. I'm going to run it again, clean this out, and then see, see what else comes out of it. So, yeah, that's awesome. We're getting a little bit more out of there. So I'm going to run this, run a few more, a few more times through, but it's definitely cleaning. So just using this basic, um, just your basic brew right coffee cleaner, um, but works pretty good. All right, so that was my fun little side project, um, kind of combining the garage and coffee. Um, coffee maker stops working, Brian stopped working. So I got this, uh, I think I got that rigged up pretty cool. There may be a different, better solution. I don't know if you've got ideas, let me know what you think, but um, this seemed to work for me. There may be a way to put that canister where I can route water in line and kind of use the use existing water pressure for it, but I wanted to be able to control the water cleaning solution mixture. So this is my way I did it. Right. So if you've got the Brew Express coffee maker with the 4E error, it means you're not getting enough water. Either the water, you got low water pressure or you got a dirty water line or something. This is my solution. Quick break from the garage to fix the coffee maker. Thanks for watching the Daily Brew Garage again. This is Brian. See y'all later.